Dude, look at you. No, thank you. You're in it. Too late. <laughs> I have all your data this is now. This so awkward. <laughs> no one wants to watch it. Though. Everyone's going to watch it. Everyone's going to watch it. Okay. How's it going, guys? That's right. Today, we are doing a harder problem. We are doing a medium problem. I'm very afraid. Uh, just kidding. But on a serious note, People have been telling me to do harder problems. People have been telling me to do medium or hard problems on leak code. I just want to point out it's all relative. Like what you guys think might be hard might be easy for me and what's you know easy for you might be hard for me. So I don't want people to dwell too much on like the difficulty that leak code tags these problems with. Um, but if you guys really do want me to start doing like medium or hard problems, I guess I can. But I just, as a word of advice, I wouldn't really worry too much about the labels that leak code gives them but more just being able to understand how to do any problem that you're you know that you might get thrown during an interview anyways that's kind of my tangent let's get into the video so today we're doing sort characters by frequency this is a question that's being asked by google right now and a few other companies like bloomberg facebook and uber i think maybe linkedin as well uh, the problem description says given a string sort it in decreasing order based on the frequency of characters so if we were given here example one being tree, the string, we would want to output E, E, R, T. And the explanation basically tells us that E appears twice while R and T only appear once each. So E must appear before R and T. And it just tells us also that um, the answer E, E, T, R is also valid um, because T and R only appear once. So it doesn't really matter which one we put first in the string. So this uh, is a pretty, simple problem description it's not too hard to solve either so the first thing there's a couple parts right the first thing is we need to count each character and how many times it occurs so that we could just probably do with a hash map we can throw each character in a hash map counting however many times it occurs incrementing that character every time we see it so that's check one the next thing is we need to make sure that we're pulling out these characters and putting them in a string in an order uh that is dependent on how many times they occur. So that can probably be taken care of by a max heap, right? So if we could take everything in our hash map now that has the counts and we throw it in a max heap, that will organize all of our characters according to whatever occurs the most, right? And then second most and third most and so on and so forth. So that's the second part. Second part is making a max heap. And then the third part is just really building that string, right? So if we wanna build a string, we wanna build it efficiently, we can use a string builder. And so we'll use a string builder and we'll just basically remove things from the heap, throwing it into our string builder. And once our heap is empty, we will have constructed our answer. So that's the general overview of how we're gonna do this problem. Now let's actually get into the implementation. So the first thing we said we wanna do is we wanna make a hash map and that's gonna record how many times each character occurs. So we're gonna say hash map, hash map, and we're gonna store character to integer we're gonna call it map equals new hash map. And now we said, we basically just wanna count every character. So we're gonna say for character C in S dot two care array. We're gonna say map dot put the current character with map dot get or default zero, uh, so, sorry, C comma zero plus one. And so what this is gonna do is the first time we see this character, it's gonna check if it's in the map, it's gonna see it's not in the map. So it's gonna give us a zero and add one to it essentially putting that character occurring once. And every other time, we will get a value for C in the map. So it'll return however many times it has occurred and just add one to it. So that's a qu quick little shorthand um, to just increment the count for something if it's appeared or not. And so now we actually have our hash maps. That was easy. And now we just need to make a max heap. So we're gonna say priority queue. And this is gonna hold characters based on their count, right? The way it organizes it is the maximum occurring character will be at the root of the heap. And so we're gonna call this max heap equals new priority queue. And what we're gonna to pass to the constructor is a lambda function telling the heap how to compare two items. And we said that the way we wanna compare them is based on their count, which is stored in our map. So we're just gonna say return basically map.getb minus map.getA. And now, once we have this priority queue and it's constructed based on, uh, you know, the most frequently occurring character or organizing it by the most frequently occurring character, we just want to take everything that's in our hash map and throw it into the heap. So that's as easy as saying max heap.add all 
map.keyset. Cool, so now that's number one and number two checked off our list. So the third part and final part is just making a string builder, removing everything from the heap and throwing it into that string builder. So we're gonna say string builder result equals new string builder. And now we said we're just gonna go through everything in the max heap. So we'll say, wow, our max heap is not empty. We have some work to do. So let's get the current character. So we're gonna say uh, character current equals max heap dot remove. And now what we want to do is we just want to add right to our result. So if we jump back to the example, E occurs the most. So we're just going to add it to our string builder however many times it occurs. So to do that, we're just going to use a quick loop. So we'll say for in I equals zero. Well, I is less than map dot get current. And we'll say I plus plus. And now we said to add to our string builder the current character that many times. So that's as easy as just saying result dot append current. And so now guys, once this loop terminates, we actually have our answer. So we just have to return a result dot to string. And let's make sure that this works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that is how to solve sort characters by frequency in Java. This is a question that's being asked by Google. If you guys have any questions for me or anything I can do to try and help you guys prepare for your interviews, be sure to leave it down in the comments. If this was helpful, be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.